Hello and welcome into another video. You may have seen in previous posts or videos, uh, I'm trying to restore an Amiga 500 Plus case that I did butcher many years ago. It was in the loft, forgotten about, discarded. I got it down recently and I thought, what can I do to sort of bring it back to life? What can I do to you know give it a little bit of dignity? So, um, first things first, I decided to paint the case uh, but the case and the actual finished product is for another video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put the A500 Mini inside the case. And I've got a couple of little surprises as well for the end product. I don't know if it's going to work. Some people know where I've spoke to. Some people you know, uh, reckon it will work. So I was sort of thinking how do I put the A500 Mini in the case and then have the keyboard sort of working with the A500 Mini and I seen a post by Carl Dyson from Retro32 uh, he put up on Facebook I think someone asked about a keyboard or something can you use a keyboard or you know, is any adapters available for uh, uh, an Amiga an original Amiga keyboard for use with an A500 Mini so Carl posted up this little device here and it is a Pro Micro board, Arduino board, and uh, basically, whatever's been done to it, programming wise or you know, in terms of, um, let's just get that in focus, all the wiring and stuff like that. This little tiny device will now connect your original Amiga 500 keyboard to your A500 Mini. <coughs> Pardon me. So at the start here, you've got the pins that go into the end of the keyboard on your uh, Amiga keyboard. And then you've got an output here of, if I can just get that in focus, got a micro USB. So that micro USB then connects to your Amiga, or oh, sorry, A500 Mini, not Amiga. And it allows you to use your keyboard, uh, original keyboard with your A500 Mini. So today's video, it's just going to show you where I'm up to with the case restoration. Uh, I've sprayed the case. It's a two-tone case. I think I've mentioned colour. It's green, so I think I've mentioned it in the past anyway. I've sprayed the keyboard black. Everything's dried off now. I've put the a new badge back on, which was on the case anyway. Um, and today's video really is just to show you all about this little device. And if you didn't know this existed, by all means, go and check out Retro32's website. And if you've got a spare Amiga keyboard knocking around, just use it with one of these because they're freaking brilliant. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change camera angles uh, and I'm going to sort of set it up uh, to make this, this work. But before we do it, I'll just show you what I've done to the case. See, I'm not going to sort of bore you with it. So, as I mentioned... Uh, one of my favourite colours is green and green and black are quite nice colours uh, like I've mentioned in previous videos and posts uh, I've done my car I bought, I bought a car which was green made it look like a car from Hunter go back and check the videos out by all means so this is where I'm up to at the moment now I don't know how good that's going to show up on camera but the stickers haven't gone on yet and it's pretty much sort of like a two tone case So yeah. Now I don't claim to be the world's best sprayer, but you know, it's, it'll do me that way. Like. So what's next for this is obviously the A500 Mini is going in there somewhere, uh, and then obviously I'll hook Carl's um, little device up to it, and then I'll, I'll use it. But as I say, for the finished product. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to work. I've got a little surprise for this and for the finished product and stuff like that. But that, as I say, is for another video. Today is all about this little baby here. So these are priced at £25 and Carl does his, his shipping is, is fast as. So yeah, all good in the hood there. But I'll put some pictures up and I'll put a link in the description all off you to look at. So anyway, let's get uh, camera angle sorted and let's get this keyboard on the go and I'll show you exactly what it does. Okay, so it's just a simple task of lining up the micro USBs. Slotting that in there like that. It's 
so it sits nice and flush. Obviously that end goes into your Amiga 500 keyboard and then this end goes into the back of your A500 Mini. Right okay so I'll just show you the setup before I continue. So there we have the Hunter Green A500 or Amiga 500 Plus. There we have Carl's adapter. So your micro USB into the back of your A500 Mini. So when you press one of the keys, you should get a red sort of indicator light to let you know that you're pressing the key. As you can see there. So now what I'm going to do, um, I haven't got Workbench installed on this. So the only thing I've got really is um, California Games where you're asked to enter your name. I don't think I've got anything else really that you can put your name in. Um, as I say, I'm, not, I'm just using it completely stock. No USB adapter at all. So it's just uh, whatever games are on this uh, I'm playing today. So is Simon the Sorcerer one, I think? Anyway, I'll find a game where you've got a text and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you it working. Right, so sort of apologies as well. Um, I bought a new camera and I'm still sort of getting used to how it sort of likes light and stuff like that. So, yeah, just bear with me if some of the, some of the pictures aren't as good. Like, So, let me just check if we're all in focus. Uh, Amiga 500, A 500, yeah. Right, so what we'll do is we'll pick, like I've said, we'll pick... California Games. Right, so competing all events should ask me for my name. Right, please enter your name, just check that's in focus. Uh, I've got no keycaps on the keyboard, so I'm just going to randomly try and type my name. G, backspace, E, up. Uh, O, R, G, and E. And there you go. A fully working Amiga 500 keyboard with an A500 Mini. Now at the time I'm recording this, as I say, I'm sort of halfway through this project. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm about another week, maybe two weeks off it. I've got a few issues and I've got, as I say, something else I want to do to it other than uh, put an A500 Mini inside it. So yeah, uh, work in progress. Uh, Carl's adapter is probably one of the reasons why I started the project. If it wasn't for this adapter, I mean I know there's other adapters out there, but I think the I think the more expensive and like I think the, I'm not an expert. I think the the, the big and the, the setup is like massive, but the size of that and to get that working with an A500 Mini. And also it'll work with a PC as well and other things, but what I'll do is I'll put screenshots up now of um, what it'll work on and stuff like that, or just go and check out uh, Retro32's website. So yeah, that was a little look at the Pro Micro board uh, from Retro32. Right, so as you can see there, this little device works absolutely flawlessly with an old Amiga 500 keyboard. As I say, it'll also work on PC and it'll also work on other devices. Go check out Retro32's um, website. £25, money well spent in my opinion. Also, Carl sent me a couple of freebies. Cheers for these, matey. A couple of uh, Retro32 floppy disk stickers. Uh, just before the do go as well, the little sort of grill at the top of the Amiga 500 that's missing will be replaced with this. It's just a little piece of uh, plexiglass or plastic, whatever you call it. That will sit on the top when everything is inside, lit up with LEDs from the top and it will have a nice little display of what's going to be inside. As I say, I'm not giving anything away just yet because I don't know if my little idea will work. But if if I pull it off, I think it'd be a pretty good um, little thing to do. Anything else? Uh, yeah, it's just work on going at the moment with that. Um, yeah, so as I say... Uh, Retro32, uh, fast delivery on that, I think it was about two days, and you also get a little video call to tell you how to line it up.
but in all honesty it's not bloody rocket science you just plug that into the main four connectors and then there's a gap there's actually three wires on the Amiga keyboard ignore it. it it works it just works so yeah whatever is done to this little device or whatever program I don't know how these people do it but you know I am just I just buy these products and I've got really no knowledge of it as long as it works it works and I, you know hats off to these people who sort of do things like this because this a 500 mini has been out now for what five or six months and I swear the amount of stuff that this machine has had sort of like thrown at it in terms of like putting stuff on it and emulating snezzers and stuff like that uh, and then these devices and other things it's just it's it's like it's like the 90s again but like a modern version sort of thing so yeah and plus i'm in a position nowadays to afford all this stuff back then when i was a kid i could just about afford them eager couldn't afford anything else after that so yeah all good in the hood there so yeah as always uh cheers for watching uh stay tuned for this project it's going to be ongoing um like i say if, it, if i pull it off i think it'd be really good if not whatever you know what i mean so yeah so cheers for watching as always and i'll catch you in the next video nice shooting son what's your name Chewy.